Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you a demo on how to implement the caching policy in the Azure API management. Come, let's dive in. So what we are going to do is I'm going to select the Get Products API. And uh, if you come to the inbound processing, you can actually add a policy. So here, what we are going to do is the add the caching policy. You have multiple ways of doing this. You can go to this policies, go to inbound and select the caching here cache get cache from value you can even use the cache from the reddish cache but uh, this is one way of doing it you can see these cache lookup value this is the key and all these things let's discuss this let's discard this and i'll show you another easy way click on add policy and this is one of the predefined policy so click on the cache response and here you specify how many seconds it has to be holded so i'm choosing as 60 seconds when i save the policy has been added basically if you go inside the policy if you click on code editor you can see the policy here so basically it says it's it's adding the cache uh, cache lookup very by developer is false and everything is set to false so that it evaluates properly and you should notice that in outbound there's a cache duration of 60 seconds okay so now what we're going to do is we have this policy in place let's go to products so this is the products that we had on the earlier one so i'm click on send so right now if i click on send let's see how long it is taking it took four seconds 4.87 seconds now click on send again you see this 514 milliseconds which means our caching is working see the cache is returning the data so it's pretty fast you can see there's a huge difference one eighth times of the response right uh, so that's how the caching policy works and uh, you can actually uh, experiment with the reddish cache also uh, that's also possible from the uh, api management so this demo will conclude all of our api management thing that we studied from part one to part seven i hope you enjoyed and you learned this is one of the important topic in azure AZ204 certification path and if you haven't watched the previous video don't forget to watch and give me a thumbs up if you like it if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you thank you thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon